Korea produces 7.6 times more waste per unit area than the U.S. because of high population density and service-oriented industrial structure. However, developed countries such as members of the EU, the U.S. and Japan have already started to produce energy from wastes as a way to develop new renewable energy resources. Korea can't be an exception to this. This you see behind me is a center of green growth in Korea. It is world-class technology developed by 100% Korean technology, and it dries sludge and turns it into energy without additional fuel supply. Introduce KR System manufactured by Kunmin ENC. Korea's waste generation is generated annually 32 million tons of waste. 아, 이는 어마어마한 양이죠. 그런데 과거 같으면 하수 쓰러지나 기타 폐기물을 해양에 투기하거나 육상에 직매립하면 그만이었습니다만 주민들의 반대와 국제협약 등으로 이런 행위가 2012년부터는 전면적으로 금지가 됩니다. 고민은 그 부분부터 시작됐어요. 어떻게 버리느냐의 문제가 아니라 그것을 어떻게 이용할 수는 없을까의 문제였던 거죠. 이뿐만 아니라 폐기물 쓰러지의 처리 비용도 대폭 상승하고 있어 중요한 건 얼마나 경제적인 방법으로 상용화할 수 있느냐의 문제였어요. 이러한 상태가 지속된다면 국가 경제 운영이나 기업의 사업 활동에 막대한 지장을 초래할 가능성도 배제할 수 없는 상황입니다. 그래서 정말 많은 시간 동안 파이로 테스트를 진행하면서 슬러지 건조 비용의 경제성과 건조 후 수분 함량을 최소화시키는 기술을 개발하여 이두 마리 토끼를 다 잡을 수가 있었습니다. 지구 온난화, 에너지 자원 고갈 문제 등은 이제 국가를 넘어 세계를 위협하는 가장 중요한 우선 과제입니다. 1% 함수율 1% 내어로 만들어냈어요. 잘 건조시킨 슬러지로 시스템을 유지 운영하는 기본 연료로 사용할 뿐만 아니라 잉여 연료까지 생산이 가능하게 됐습니다. 또한 이 연료는 지하 규격에 적합한 연료로 생산하여 화석 연료를 대체할 수 있을 정도의 품질을 만들 수 있게 되었습니다. 사실 메리트는 쓰레기 속에는 소기보다 더 값진 에너지가 숨어 있고 땅에서 원유를 퍼 올리는 것과는 비교되지 않는 가치를 지났다고 할수 있습니다. We have looked at the background of technology development and its effects at present and in the future. Kunmin ENC's KR system is a system necessary for the green growth in the 21st century. Now, let me introduce the most efficient features of KR system one by one. KR system reduces the water content of sludge from 80% to 1%. A conventional flash dryer uses 1.5 tons of steam to dry 1 ton of sludge. On the other hand, KR system uses only half of it. KR system produces 21.5 tons of dried sludge from 100 tons of sludge with water content of 80%. Due to lower heating value, sludge produces 500 kilocalories per kilogram before it is dried, but it produces 4,300 kilocalories per kilogram after it is dried. Total calorie production per day is 90 million kilocalories, which is equivalent to the energy produced by 60 barrels of crude oil. KR system can be applied to all kinds of organic waste, including food waste, livestock waste, and wastewater sludge from plants. What principles are used to produce these effects? KR system dries sludge by using oil's high thermal conductivity after mixing sludge with heat transfer oil. While sludge is being dried, the pressure inside the system is reduced to speed up evaporation and to enable evaporation at lower temperatures. 99% of the oil used to dry sludge is recovered and used again. As the entire process is carried out in a decompressed sealed system, the system can be used in an urban area because bad smells do not leak out. Now, let's look at the process. The process of KR system consists of four stages, from the supply of wet sludge to the discharge of dried sludge, and the entire process is an automated unmanned process. First, sludge and heat transfer oil are supplied to the mixing and warming up tank. The mixed sludge is transferred to the evaporator automatically. 
In this stage, the heat transfer oil helps to destroy the cell membrane of sludge so that the water contained in the sludge can be dried up to 99%. It is the core technology of the system. Next, the sludge is transferred to the feeding tank, where the temperature is raised to separate the heat transfer oil from the sludge, and the sludge is transferred to the liquid solid separator to separate the heat transfer oil from the sludge. The separated heat transfer oil is transferred to the heat transfer oil storage tank to be recycled, and the dried sludge is transferred to the energy generation facility to supply energy for running the KR system and to produce extra energy. The fuel produced here can be used for many purposes, fuel for incinerators, supplementary fuel for cement plants, heating of greenhouses in farm areas, raw material for RPF production, and fuel for thermal power plants. And it can be used to obtain certified emission reduction for CDM businesses. We have looked at the principles, technology features, and process of the KR system. The Korean government is working on a waste energy town project to develop Korea's waste energy technology from its current beginning level to advanced commercialized level of developed countries. In addition, the Korean government is developing technologies in 14 areas, including the production of fuel and biogas from organic waste by linking industries, academies, research centers, private and public sectors, and establishing joint research bases. We hope that the KR system will be at the center of waste energy recycling. The KR system will provide us not only with environment protection by proper sludge treatment, but also recycled energy production and also help us to realize the dream of green growth.